Welcome to the driver's seat. I'm Ron Doran, and for today's segment, I'm going to be your midlife crisis automotive consultant. Let's face it, you want a fun car. You want something that's loud. And to my left is the Lexus RCF. Very impressive vehicle. And to my right, a legendary vehicle, the Dodge Challenger Hellcat. The Hellcat needs no introduction. It has over 700 horsepower, makes an amazing sound, and launches to 60 in about three and a half seconds. The RCF is no slouch in its own right, but it just doesn't have the pedigree. It also doesn't have quite the horsepower, uh, less than 500 horsepower, which sounds kind of uh, puny compared to the Hellcat. While both of these vehicles are very impressive, um, the Lexus stands out because first of all, it's a luxury car. Second of all, it's a Toyota brand, so it has a lot of great pedigree as far as reliability, dependability, and resale value. It's also smaller form factor, so if you're looking for something that's really gonna handle uh, better than obviously a, a big vehicle like the Challenger, uh, this might be your ticket. Uh, we've driven this vehicle several times and really like it. It's, it's, a, it's a nice vehicle. It competes more with the BMW M4 and Audi S5, for example. Uh, not really a competitor to the Challenger, but because they're in the same price tag, you might cross shop them. This is probably the fourth time I've driven the Hellcat and every time it just gets better. I've driven the manual version and I've driven the automatic version. And that is reason number one you would want to buy this vehicle. The RCF is not available in a manual. So if you really want a true, pure muscle car, front engine, rear wheel drive, ton of power, manual transmission, you may want to pick one of these up because it's going to be probably a collector's item in the near future. The other thing I like about this car is its presence. Everywhere you go, people see it, they notice it, they see the Hellcat badge, and there's no mistaking what it is. Finally, it has room for five. Can you believe it? Five people in this vehicle. You can't put five people in the RCF. So those are my three reasons why you would get the Hellcat. If you're strictly buying this midlife crisis car for the horsepower, then get the Challenger. But this car is more like a precision scalpel, whereas the Challenger is just like a big sledgehammer. Uh, let's talk about what we like about the Lexus. Uh, very um, stimulating gauges. You've got uh, several drive modes. You have that in the Challenger as well. We've had both of these cars on the track, and if that is a consideration factor, which most first owners don't track their vehicles, um, then I would go with the RCF. It's just much, uh, much more of a track car. It's a little bit lighter, it's more nimble, and just handles better. It's definitely a lot tighter in here, and some people like that. They want that sports car feel. This car feels more like a sports car. The Challenger is definitely a muscle car. Of course, not all RCFs come in this crazy orange color. So if you want to be a little more subtle about your purchase, you can get traditional colors. The Hellcat also comes in some pretty bright colors and uh, just depends on what message you're trying to send. As you can see, the Hellcat has considerably more power, about 240, or should I say, um, almost 50% more power than the RCF. So obviously power is a consideration of zero to 60 times. It's about a good second faster than the RCF. Uh, then those are definitely reasons to buy the Hellcat. But I suppose one of the things I love most about the Challenger is that it's a pure muscle car that was inspired by the original muscle cars of the 60s and 70s. This has an eight-speed automatic transmission, which is nice because when you want the quick reacting gears, you have it. But when you kind of want to cruise and actually get decent fuel economy for what it is, then you could do that as well. You know, one of the cool facts about this Challenger is that if you floor it, you can empty the gas tank, a full gas tank, in 13 minutes. That's pretty impressive. Even with traction control activated, it's really hard to harness the power of the Hellcat. Just a ton of power, a ton of torque, and a great growl. I'm sure someday the RCF will be a classic, some, somewhat of a collector's item, but I know for sure that this Hellcat in the near future will become one, especially with the manual transmission. And that's the way I would buy it. I would have to get the manual transmission. Both vehicles offer various drive modes. Uh, here you have, uh, when you put 
in the Hellcat, when you push the SRT button, you get a screen that lets you customize it. You can go to uh, track, sport, custom, uh, or default and custom. You can obviously set your own uh, suspension, transmission, reaction time, and paddle shifters, etc. You also have the option for launch control, which is the only way you're going to get to zero to 60 in 3.5 seconds. Otherwise, it's just too much power for the rear wheels and you'll get slippage, which will cost you. I get a lot of questions about what color is that vehicle. So let me tell you, the RCF is Molten Pearl and this amazing Challenger is Destroyer Gray. I was gonna call it Battleship Gray, very close. So if it was my money and I had to buy a vehicle in this price range, I gotta tell you, I'm going with the Challenger. And this is actually one of the big reasons I'm going to do it, the red key. I don't know if you heard about this, but there are two different keys. You got a black key, which has less horsepower. That's the one you give the valet or your kid. This red key is the one you keep for yourself for some burnouts on the weekend. I'm Ron Doran. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on the driver's seat.